on this edition of 305 News. Good news for City of Miami residents who wish to become homeowners in District 5. An initiative to design a network of resilient hubs in the greater Miami area. An opportunity for vendors to learn vital information to conduct business with the City of Miami. The details of Mayor Francis Suarez's State of the City Address. And Little Havana joins Puerto Rico in the celebration of the legendary San Sebastian Street Festival. Welcome back to 305 News. I'm Victoria Sosa. And I'm Kenya Fayat, coming to you from the iconic Tower Theater in Little Havana, one of Miami's oldest cultural landmarks. That's right, Kenya. This emblematic building opened in 1926 and became a special state-of-the-art playhouse in the country. In the 1960s, this magnificent theater became the place where people from other countries and backgrounds were introduced to American culture and entertainment. And not only was this theater offering films in English and Spanish subtitles as a way of welcoming Cuban refugees, but soon enough, Spanish language films became part of the programming. In just a few minutes, a special guest will share with us exclusive details about the wonderful things coming soon to the Tower Theater. In the meantime, we want to bring you some of the items delivered by Major Francis Suarez at the State of the City Address. The event, which took place Friday, January 27th at the City of Miami Commission Chambers, gave Mayor Suarez the opportunity to highlight year 2022. Today's Miami stands as a shining city on a hill for those fleeing various forms of oppression. For us, our story has been one of newcomers who became natives, of migrants and mavericks who look different but share the same values. From our founder, Julia Tuttle, to those arriving today. Each new wave of residents has invested, enriched, and built our city. Now it falls to us to build our city by building on the works of those before us, like Commissioner who's mayor and former mayor who's here with us. Now is the time to reflect and to renew our commitment to ensure Miami remains our magic city. As we mentioned at the beginning of the show, good news for those who are looking for a place to call home in the city of Miami. Commissioner Christine King has expanded the first time home buyer program, which aims to help city of Miami residents on the purchase of their first home within the boundaries of District 5. This program was created to provide current city residents who have never owned a home with up to $200,000 in financial assistance. Those are great news. Some of the requirements include a minimum of $50,000 in household income and the maximum purchase price of $500,000. For information on deadlines and for the full list of requirements, please call 305-416-2080 or 305-250-5390. Oh. Moving on to other news, the city of Miami presented its first vendor university. Starting on Monday, January 30th, the Department of Procurement launched this initiative to discuss information that is vital when conducting business with the city. Through Vendor University, the purpose of the Office of Procurement is to offer a series of workshops across the city of Miami covering topics from solicitation methods to contracting opportunities and much more. For more information, please visit the website on your screen. As part of Resilient 305, the City of Miami is proud to support the launch of the Miami-Dade County-wide Resilience Hub Network Strategy. This is a million-dollar project funded by the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity to develop a plan to design a network of resilience hubs in the greater Miami area and to scale the concept across Florida and throughout the country in communities with similar risks. The launch event took place at Charles Hadley Park with the presence of key stakeholders who had facilitated discussions about the community value and resilience hubs. For me, this is a game changer for our community. These resilience hubs are going to provide so much support to our community. In the event of a natural disaster, these resilience hubs are going to provide so much information for our communities, will provide support will provide food if necessary, water, everything that they would need, they can come to these resilience hubs right in their very own communities. 
Resilience Hub is meant to be a community center where people can go all year round or during a disaster for information, resources, how they can connect with support systems, either in the time of a disaster or year round, and make themselves, their household, their community more resilient, more able to uh, respond to the challenges that they're experiencing, these shock and stress events. I'm honored to have you here today. Well, this is Miguel Ferro, Artistic Director for the Bayfront Management Trust and uh, Commissioner Joe Carollo. It's very important. Very, yes. very proud to serve the community through those two venues, yes. I see that, that vibe you have, and I saw that vibe when I walked through here, and, I, and you have so many things that, that, that you want to say to those artists, to local artists, to those directors that are out there. Talk to me a little bit about that. Kenya, I have no words to, to say how excited we all are, how grateful we all are, because the fact is that Miami, yeah, we've seen theater disappearing, as I said, and we feel Miami that is also, you know, it's restaurant, it's beach, it's malls, but no, no art. And it seems like a cliche, but it's true. When you are producing and you don't, you have an idea, you have a dream, and you don't know where to put it, where to stage it. And now when we, with, with the city and the commissioner said, we are going to make that theater easy for the, for the staging of great plays, local, international, national plays. You know, we can't wait for that. Before we go, I need to ask you a question. Whoa. Are you going to have anyone serving cafecito cubano at the concession oh, of stand? Of course, what is a Calle Ocho place that doesn't serve cafecito cubano? That's the first thing we're gonna have. What's the message to the rest of the people that are watching us? Well, I wanna give you guys just one word. Welcome. Welcome to Tower Theater. Welcome with your productions. Welcome with your dreams. We're gonna help you to make it happen. And let's end this episode of 305 News with two things that define our location today, right, Kenya? Yes. Great music and lots of fun. As part of an initiative by Commissioner Joe Carroyo, Viernes Pequeña Habana celebrated La Isla del Encanto, Puerto Rico, with a night full of music in the plaza next to Maximo Gomez Park, better known as Domino Park. Well, Victoria, we know artists such as Michael Mars, Stalin Benitez, and the Bomba and Plena Group Bomba y Gua took over the stage to celebrate the San Sebastián Street Festival, a multi-day tradition for Puerto Ricans on the island. What a beautiful celebration. Yeah, absolutely. This is all from us today from Tower Theater in Little Havana. Thank you all for watching this edition of 305 News at home or on the go. Remember, you can always stay up to date with the latest happenings in the Magic City through our social media platforms. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time on 305 News.